Now, in a few of my previous videos, I may have talked about how great the LiveView AF system works in the EOS 70D. So, now, I'm not denying that it works now, but still, I'm not saying you shouldn't use it. I'm just gonna tell you why I still prefer to use manual focus over the um, servo movie focus on the EOS 70D. So, despite having a AF system in movie mode that actually works good, I still prefer to use manual focus because from my point of view, manual focus is the way to go when you're shooting video. So when I shoot video, I always use manual focus. So the autofocus works very well with static objects, but actually not so good with objects that are constantly moving and shifting across the frame and going in and out of focus. So for example, for this scene here, I used manual focus. Now you can see these basketball players, they're moving very quick. So I used manual focus for this shot. So I'm gonna start with uh, showing a few examples of when and some circumstances of when the autofocus doesn't work. So um, the autofocus will eventually fail when your subject is of very low contrast, for example, a black surface. Or if um, your scene is too dark, the autofocus will also fail if the scene is too dark. So another thing I've noticed is if your subject is too far out of focus, it will fail also. So why do I still use manual focus when I still have an autofocus system that works fine if not better on most occasions? So. If you ask me, it's easier to trust yourself than something else. So, I like to trust myself with the focus because I have full control over what I'm doing, what I'm focusing on. So, one more thing is, when you're using the autofocus, the speed of the focus is uncontrollable. The speed of the pull itself, it's at a fixed speed. So, I can't alter the speed of the focus pull. I, I can't choose if I want a fast pull or a slow pull. But if I'm manual focusing, the speed of the focus pull is entirely up to myself. So it gives me more creative space, I can have more creative control, so I can expand my creativity even better with manual focus. Now one more thing to take note of is it's not how good the system is, it's if you actually take the risk. For example, you're, in, um, you're shooting a wedding and you simply can't afford to lose a shot. So. When I shoot weddings, I always, always use manual focus because I simply cannot afford having the autofocus to fail on me when I'm shooting something important. For example, I'm shooting at a 1.4 aperture and something's going on. So if I'm relying on the manual of, uh, autofocus and the autofocus decides to fail on me at that point, I simply miss the shot. So. That could be pretty bad. And one more thing is manual focus is actually somewhat easier. Because for me, it's easier to simply turn the focus ring than to touch all over the screen to choose what you want to focus, especially when you're gripping the DSLR like so. One, one hand is on the grip, one hand is on the lens. You basically have no other hand to operate the screen. Unless you touch it with your tongue or something. But still, I just think it's more normal to tweak the focus using the fingers rather than actually touching the screen. So when you're so so when you're trusting the autofocus to do the job for you, you are not in control. The camera's microprocessor is on, in control. So when you're shooting a video, what you want is actually full manual control. So that's why I still go for manual focus. And one more thing about the EOS MCD's AF system, that is, the AF area is simply too big. If you're on movie servo AF mode, you can see the active focus area is inside that square box there. So that square box is actually pretty big. So what if you want to focus on a small subject? Your subject is small and you want to pinpoint focus on that small subject and it doesn't fill that huge white box. What are you gonna do? So it simply doesn't work. And for some very fast action, the autofocus actually can't keep up. For example, this shot here, I trusted the autofocus to work for me. And as you can see, although it eventually got focused, but still, it was pretty slow. It was about an entire half a second slow. 
because if I did manual focus, this shot would have been good. But still, auto focus was slower to actually get the focus that I want. So for this shot, I couldn't actually manual focus myself because both of my hands were occupied, ocu uh, were occupied operating the mic boom pole. So I had to use auto focus. But still, I'm using a glide cam, and both of my hands have to be on the glide cam to actually maneuver the glide cam and I'm on a wide angle lens so I have plenty of depth of field I don't need to worry too much about focus then I might actually consider leaving the camera on servo AF mode so because obviously I don't have a secondary focus pull to pull focus for me while I'm actually using a glide cam so that would be a wonderful option so still, um, despite having a great AF system on the EOS 70D, which is my main camera which I shoot a video on, um, I still prefer to use manual focus. Again, it's a pretty personal thing. It's pretty much your personal preference. I prefer manual focus and I'm not saying you shouldn't use the AF on the EOS 70D because still it is pretty good. It's still very good, it's completely usable. So for like home videos, it could work very very well, you get great results out of it. But for if you're shooting it for some serious work, let's say, or if for paid work, um, I wouldn't go for the AF, I would still stick to MF. If you have any questions, do feel free to post them in the comment section below. If you disagree, sure let me know why. So these are just my thoughts, feel free to share with me your thoughts too. So. This is pretty much it about AF versus MF. So, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.